back in our home office after a long weekend at Thornhill. I got a whole bunch of really cool gifts. I am super fortunate and humbled with all the nice followers I have. Uh, everyone is super cool. And I got some cool gifts out there I want to show you guys. Uh, the first one I got is from one of our newest MSM team members, Mr. Jake Goodlett. Uh, he wanted to congratulate me on 100K. And he bought me these. These guys. These are crease protectors for shoes. Such a thoughtful gift. He knew I was into sneakers. He said he saw them. He's like, hey, man, you need some crease protectors. He bought me some crease protectors. So big shout out to Jake. Thank you so much for that. Also, I ran into a gentleman named Hunter. Him and his friend Sean got into racing. They watched the video, and they, they got me a little gift. And this gift is freaking amazing. By the way, Evan's back there. He didn't race. It is like racing. So you guys can yell at him for not racing. Really did. Yeah, I'm dropping you in the grease like that. He'll race. He'll race soon. Uh, anyways, check out this really cool gift. Uh, this is a Caterpillar oil filter, but it's a coffee mug. So basically they changed, they converted this engine oil filter, Caterpillar engine oil filter, into a coffee mug. Uh, this is freaking awesome. It looks like I'm drinking an oil filter. I love this. They also gave me a lanyard but it was just a, an appreciation and just a gift uh, saying thanks for all the content I put together thank you so much Hunter and Sean super nice this is freaking sweet I'm gonna use this all the time I drink coffee all the time then I got some mail I got some mail that I wanted to open up before we start this video which again it's new car week plus I say week plus because it's probably gonna be more than a week we're gonna open a new car today but got some mail this one is from Mike from Ohio it feels like there's a patch in here oh sweet stickers RC for us super cool so basically he wanted to thank me for everything I've done and that I personally inspired him into starting his own YouTube channel he's almost nine months in and he's close to 3,000 subscribers that's crazy I don't think I grew that fast uh, that's insane already 3,000 subscribers in nine months Mike thanks RC for us go check it out that's his uh, YouTube channel he's got some cool stickers RC for us uh, but thanks, Mike. Appreciate it, bud. Next letter is from Brock from Wisconsin. I don't even know if they have an accent up there. I just completely made that accent. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, man, this is awesome. So he says, follow her since day one. So basically, he just got back into racing. He watches my videos. Uh, but he knew I like patches. And he picked up a patch uh, when he went on vacation to cross off one of his bucket list items. And that was going hot air ballooning. So he went hot air ballooning. And he went somewhere, I think in Arizona, he said, and it was called Rainbow Riders. And he got this cool Rainbow Riders patch. Brock, you're the man. Appreciate it. Uh, if you want to send me stuff, you want me to check it out and read it online, if you have a YouTube channel, maybe you want to promote, send me some stickers, some swag, uh, feel free to. I have a link, or not a link, but my address in the description below. Send it on over. I'll check it out. Anyways, let's open up a new car today. What is up guys, my name is Mark Sanmarino, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, as promised, we're opening a new car every video for the next few videos. An undisclosed amount of video. You're just going to bust it out like that, huh? Go, go ahead, go, for, go, go, go for it, bud. Oh, oh wait, 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 got my address on there. Alright, there you go. Alright, now you can bring it in. So today, guys, we are unboxing a brand new FMS car. Funny story about this FMS car. When it released, I didn't know it released. I saw other people have it. I was like, how come FMS didn't let me know that this car came out? I went back to my emails and they did, and I didn't respond to them. So luckily, I reached back out to them. I was like, hey, I totally missed this release. I would love to do a review on this car. Can you send me one? And they did. So here it is, the new FMS car. We're going to open it up now. We're at our favorite crawling spot, by the way. I'm kind of missing the box, Dad. Am I missing the box? You're missing the box. I don't want to cut the box because this car is awesome. I'm ex like I asked for this one. Most of the time they send me stuff, I'll review it. This one is one I didn't want to miss, but here it is. There's already videos out on it. Not my videos, but videos. The Blazer, the FMS K5 Blazer. Major Blazer theme going on lately. But this is the FCX24. So in my opinion, the FCX24 is one of the best minis. I mean, it's just an awesome mini. I mean, it's a mini crawler, so it does what minis can do, but this one has two speed, which makes it that much better in my opinion. So I love 
the Power Wagon. That's probably one of my most favorite minis. Uh, oh my God. Do you see that? Yeah. Do you see how clean that thing is? I don't want to show the people What's yet, but look, look at that. I got, <laughs> I got an amazing color. I don't know if any other YouTubers got this color, but check this out. Boom. It's like the brown and tan with the white camper shell. Oh my God, that looks freaking amazing. It's even got Chevy licensing up front. Holy smokes. Look, it even has a Texas plate on it. Um, uh-oh. We have to put light bars and stuff on it? We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna drive it because we're at the crawling spot. Oh man, there's all different types of stuff. So it looks like it comes with some accessory pieces. This looks like maybe a roof rack. And then there's some other accessory pieces here, uh, like light bar, different license plates. Uh, some tools and then it comes with this looks like a big old front bumper like a big old off-road looking front bumper and then your remote and then obviously the car so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a battery in this car and drive it down in the creek because this is an amazing crawling area but yeah I, I, I just gotta drive it look at how clean this is let's roll a freaking montage We drove it it's pretty freaking amazing we're gonna touch up on the most important part the scale looks of this vehicle is absolutely insane i love the color this is my favorite color a lot of people don't like the two-tone little truck bed tonneau cover looking thing or the camper shell i think it makes it look really really cool love the brown and gold it has like these silver accent trims look super sick also the chrome bumpers the headlights work it has high beams and low beams i believe Actually, we're gonna test those out. Oh my God, I left the remote on. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I just pushed a whole bunch of buttons. Anyways, there's a way to turn the high beams and low beams on. It's the bind button. Usually they, they used to have an extra button on the remote, but the bind button, you basically hit it, wait a few seconds, it'll turn the headlights on and off. It has two speed also. That's why I really, really like the FCX24. I think the two speed makes it that much more fun. You can do it where it's actually faster than you actually walking. So if you wanna take it trail riding, but also if you want that low end torque, the low speed, it works out just fine. I am gonna put these pieces on. There's a whole bunch of extra trim pieces that come with it. I will put it on. Go make sure you follow my Facebook page and my Instagram. I'll show you guys what it looks like when you put them on there. It does look like you have to drill into the body, so I'm not really looking forward to that too much. Now the problems that I do see is I don't think there's any oil in these shocks. I'm actually pretty sure there's not. I think you can get an oil fill option and it might actually come with the pieces to do the oil fill shock. It does, it comes with the pieces to actually put oil in the shocks, but because it comes out of the box with no oil and the body's so heavy, it does bounce around a whole bunch. Like it basically sways a lot, very, very bouncy, just as you would expect 
a car with no oil or no struts to perform like very 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 bouncy and the fact that the body is just a little bit heavier it doesn't really help the bounciness the first thing you're going to notice when you drive the car is it has an incredible amount of torque uh, we had it in high speed at first and you can actually see like it doing front wheelies rear wheelies i mean it's got crazy amounts of torque and the brake is like instant as soon as you let off the throttle it's like instant 100 percent drag brake i'm sure that's a setting you can change but there you go you saw me doing a an endo there but yeah it will do wheelies it will definitely scratch up your pretty chrome bumpers but right off the bat when you start driving it you are going to notice it has an incredible amount of torque you can drive it smooth um, but if you're a first time driver and you're like hitting the throttle letting go and hitting the brake i mean it's going to look like it's on uh hydraulic look at that look at that look at... i don't know why that's so satisfying and fun but yeah <laughs> incredible amount of torque Definitely things you can improve on this car, but overall, I mean, you can't beat the looks. Look at that thing. Insane, look how much of my headlights off. I did it. It's super cool, especially if you're a Blazer fan. There's gotta be, look, that's just me going and letting off. It's doing an endo. There's gotta be a way to change those settings. I'm sure there is, but we haven't done it yet. Overall, super cool car. Before we end this one, let me show you what this thing looks like with the body off. So the way you get the body off is there's those little whoa whoa hold on let me let me uh, there's these little clips right here uh, you basically just pop these off it's a lot easier with uh two hands so let me get two hands basically put your hands under here pop this off and then pop it off on this side but there's what it looks like with the body off under the body uh pretty simple again i'm sure one of these i'm sure you can change the settings in the csc somehow uh i'm just not sure how but yeah it is doing that instant break or instant reverse, no brake. It's like forward and reverse only. But there's what little motor you have in there. It's a nice little machine. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I'll put a link in the description of this car below. Truck, RC car, truck. RC car slash truck below. Well, hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.